this is ridiculous. I remember in my last relationship, this actually feels a little bit scary, you know? New hair day. I'm really looking forward to being a parent one day, apart from, I mean, how hard can this be? Oh no. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in. The Hello, my loves. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Welcome back to another little weekly vlog. It is Monday morning currently. Sunny has just been to the groomers. She's very tired. I've literally just picked her up. And look at her, she's so fluffy. Her little head actually looks like a cloud and it feels like it as well. Like when you touch her, your fingers feel like they just go straight through to her little tiny skull. She is so soft and fluffy. What a little cutie. She doesn't like going to the groomer. Luckily, we found a really lovely lady locally to us who does like one-on-one -on -one grooming. So Sunny never goes to like, it's not a big groomers with loads of dogs on the tables and stuff. Oh, she wants a tummy rub. So high maintenance. Um, it's just one lady that takes one dog at a time. She absolutely adores the dogs. Sunny is just a princess. Can you show everyone your paws? Anyway, first job of the day done. I actually need to plan my week because I haven't done that yet. I normally do it on a Sunday night and if I don't do it, my whole week goes to pot and I'm not exaggerating. I will literally procrastinate, not know what I'm doing every day and it's a horrible feeling when you're self-employed. So let's go and get planning. Some of you are probably gonna think this is really sad, but I think this is quite cool. And I feel like those of you watching who have got a small business might like this also. So I bought these little digital downloads on Etsy, and basically they're maps that you color in when you get a sale in that place. Let me show you. I've started the coloring in today. Very therapeutic, I must say. So the one I bought, there are three different maps. I'll leave a link to this digital download down below, but there's a world map, not gonna lie, definitely have to use Google Maps to fill this in because I have not got a clue where most countries are. I am a little bit ashamed to say that. <laughs> then there's a US map. So I've only recently started doing international orders, but so far these are the places in America that I've sent to. We've got Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, California, Oregon, and Hawaii. A UK map. This one I feel like is gonna take me quite a while. I'm basically going down the list and typing in my Shopify orders each place. So like Aberdeen, and then checking that there's orders from that place. Um, so far I'm up to Chelmsford here and this is what I've filled in so far. I've ordered a little pink cork board to put up outside in the office that'll be here later this week and I'm gonna pin these up on the cork board so that when I get new orders I can colour in the places. Like I said probably quite sad that I'm doing this but it's a nice little way to see your achievements and I feel like I'm gonna feel really accomplished if this is full one day that's gonna feel so good to know there's little dogs all around the country with my products in their wardrobes. Also watching Lucy's new weekly vlog while I do this. Hello everyone, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for I'm us. I'm feeling good. Are you? Mm. I'm glad. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm here with Leanne today and we've asked on Instagram, where's my phone? Ooh. We've asked you for your dilemmas. There are quite a lot. And we thought we would sit and have a McDonald's, answer your dilemmas, let you know what we would do, even though we are not experts. Let's share what we've got for our McDonald's, so. Go on, what's your order? Chicken ledge. Chicken ledge, no mayo. Mozzarella dips. They nearly came out. Yeah. Mozzarella dips. Mozzarella dippers. Nice, I got, I got a wrap today. Mm. I got the barbecue bacon crispy chicken. Also medium meal with a Fanta and mozzarella dippers. Should we take our first bites? Cause I'm starving and yeah. then we'll answer some questions. I'm just of chip. Oh. What is that? Mm. Oh. I really need to get it looked at. Right, are we ready for the first question? Mm -hmm. I'm back in contact with an old friend. He's changed a lot. Can we rebuild friendship? I feel like this has happened to you more than it's happened to me, actually. There's a difference between changing and growing. Well, because I've had friends where they've changed in the sense of, like, not that they've become horrible or anything, just, like, all of their interests changed and we couldn't really find anything to, like, relate to anymore. I'd say give it a go and, like, see, try and see 
if you can find what you still have in common and also if, see if they've changed for the better or yeah. the worse if it's in a negative way and like you don't like who they are as a person anymore then mm. maybe it's not the friendship for you anyway but if they've changed for the better and they've just grown maybe you'll like the new them even more someone said i'm feeling lonely only one without a boyfriend or house what do i do <laughs> first of all you don't need either of those things to mm. be happy you can't compare yourself to your friends at all that's something i've learned like all of my friends have been in relationships for years but you can't compare your life with your friends because everybody's life is so different yeah when you're in a situation like this and you feel like you haven't got what you want you've got to find that happiness within it sounds so cheesy but you genuinely <laughs> 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 I don't think lonely is a bad word. I don't think it's a bad thing to be. I think sometimes, as the great Adele once said, sometimes loneliness is the only rest we get. <laughs> also, I don't think not having a boyfriend makes you lonely. Definitely not. Not at all. You could be lonely with a boyfriend. Yeah. Learning to love your own company and spending time with people in your life like family members or friends. Oh, look, that geezer just let go of his trolley. He's just going to abandon it there. How rude. Yeah, you can find fulfillment other ways. But I think if you do feel lonely, the best thing you can do is talk to someone about it. Might be a teacher, might be a doctor, might be a friend. Someone will listen, I promise you. I really want a baby, but I fear I'm never gonna be financially ready for one. I don't think anyone's ever ready no. for a baby. Maybe financially, yeah, but there's so many people that aren't financially ready that have a baby and they manage and they're mm. still happy and they still cope and they still manage to provide for the baby. I feel like it's kind of one of those things you've got to throw yourself in if you're ready mentally and with your partner and stuff to have have a baby you will find a way it's one of them things where when it happens you just instinct takes over and you just mm. you just do it look at us talking about having children when neither of us got kids i yeah your instinct will take over that's happen what, to us that's what i imagine it'll be like <laughs> yeah that's so. what everyone says so mm. someone said what do you both do to make yourself feel better when you don't feel like you're thriving i try and change things up a bit do you i don't recommend this to everyone but i, <laughs> I like to change jobs a lot um <laughs> probably the most feasible option um i just just change something even if it's something small yeah do things that make you happy whether that's literally like sitting on the sofa or watching tv taking a day off taking a day off absolutely i love days where i just chill in bed yeah just time to think, I think yeah like pj day maybe like meet up with someone that makes you happy yeah i agree yeah Ah, <laughs> I agree. I do love a cozy day, but I also think what's really good for me is going for a walk, especially with someone like either one of our walks or mm. with my mum. You don't have to chat, but I think chatting on a walk does help. But just being outside in the open air, that makes me feel better. Also planning my week makes me feel a lot better. If I'm not thriving, if I plan the next few days mm. so I know what I'm doing and I can keep on track, being organised helps me. Someone said, I'm in year nine and I honestly hate school and feel like it's never Ever going to end did you ever feel like that did you ever hate school <laughs> yeah not hate as in like like wanted to cry but i just was very happy to leave like mm. I'm, I'm when people are oh school's the best days of your life i'm like what's up for me no do you ever miss school not really i miss like some of the memories but if someone said to me oh you had the chance to go back to school i'd be like no, no i wouldn't not. either it will end though yeah it actually will go a lot quicker than you think i feel like year 10 11 especially will fly by mm. and also year 10 11 you get to do subjects that you want to do i so think year 10 and 11 are the best yeah that Definitely. will help you as well and that's not long away if you're in year nine gonna mm -hmm. be the summer holidays before you know it and then yep. it's year 10 and yep. then like they really do put the pressure on in year 10 because it's like juicy season coming up but having that pressure and having that deadline is actually a good thing for making the time go faster it'll be over before you know it it really will oh this is a good one i feel like i could talk about this for a long time i feel like breaking up with my boyfriend of five years to find myself again but i'm afraid it'll be a mistake that's all you that one it won't be a mistake if you're thinking about breaking up with someone the breakup is pretty much already happened i feel like once it's happened mentally you've just got to run with it it will not be a mistake if you're thinking about breaking up with this person because if you really wanted to spend the rest of your life with this person they really were the right one for you first of all you'd be able to find yourself while you're with them you shouldn't have to leave someone in order to find yourself if you have to leave them to find yourself they're probably not the right person two if you're even thinking about breaking up with them i don't think this is quite controversial. I don't think there's much coming back from that. I remember in my last relationship, first time, imagine if we broke up was mentioned. It was like game over. I was like, I might as well be single now. <laughs> Honestly, that's just the way it is. Once it's in your mindset, it's so hard to get out of that. And if you are really meant to be together and you break up and you find yourself, you can always get back together. Yeah. Like it's not the end of the world. But I think for this moment in time, it sounds like you should just do it. I think you should. Yeah. I think you should break up. <laughs> if it all goes wrong, don't blame Fakan. <laughs> but especially to find yourself again, 
that's such a good reason to break up. Finding yourself is such a big part of being young. You need to eat your Mott's dippers. This is one for you. Mm. I hate my job, but I'm scared to leave. Oh my god, leave. Honestly, do it. Before you actually leave, leave, start looking for other jobs and apply for other jobs, but don't do nothing i feel like there's such a misconception of like you've got to stay in a job for a long time you've got to make a career out of it do you know how many times i've had a job and a couple months later i've been like nah not for me quit mm. Bye. i mean to me i don't see that as anything bad i know there are some people older people especially that are like just like stay in it it's a job you're earning money but like do you know how many jobs there are out there i don't know it is hard to get a job if you have like a good cv and i don't mean like experience i mean if you like really big yourself up in your cv then i think that helps you so much i'm really proud of my cv i haven't got a cv <laughs> <laughs> That's it's not just normal. i don't know i just i'm such a believer in if something isn't right for you just leave it like what are you gaining from staying in that job absolutely nothing i mean i don't know how old you are but especially if you're young jobs can be very flexible but what if this person has got responsibility and like they've got rent to pay yeah then find another job before you leave that one i'm trapped in a very toxic relationship i'll hurt myself if you leave and it drains me that sounds like a very manipulative relationship to be in i think the best thing to do in this situation is to tell somebody else that your person has said that to you mm. whether it's boyfriend girlfriend what i would say tell their parent mm. tell their mum or dad that they've said they said to me that they're gonna hurt themselves if I leave them so that someone else is aware because that's a big weight to carry on your shoulders by yourself mm. and if you do leave someone else will be aware to keep an eye out for them just in case yeah. even if you're I don't know 25 tell their parent or tell someone or one of their friends someone in their life that's close to them that can keep an eye out for when you're not with them anymore yeah. basically but that is a horrible situation to be in mm. and I'm sorry that you're going through that but you haven't got to stay in that relationship mm -mm. basically there are honestly so many I'm not even halfway through scrolling someone said i fancy my driving instructor what shall i do well you already have his number or her number no i think pass your test first <laughs> pass your test so that you don't have to have that working relationship with them and then maybe contact yeah. them about that i don't think you should start anything while you're still <laughs> learning to drive i think that's going to be a recipe for disaster okay someone said how to come to terms with your sexuality obviously we oh, can't really know, relate I don't to have this it serious. what i will say is don't be afraid to be you well, the thing like, is you can't change who you are yeah so i think you've just got to embrace it and i think that goes for anything like whether it's your sexuality your personality no matter what it is in your life and your personality mm. that is you and that is yeah just be you 100% be confidently you don't care about what other people think and if you're like still not sure what you is be confident with that like you don't have to know you don't have to label anything no. just live your life doing what makes you happy however it makes you happy and it will come it will always always come everything falls into place I agree there must be some sort of pressure for some people anyway to put a label on themselves when they're in the situation yeah. like Am I gay? Am I straight? Am I bi? Realistically, what is a label? A label is for other people, not for you. Don't feel the pressure to put a label on yourself for the sake of other people so that you've got something to tell them. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I don't know if that makes sense what I just said then, but I guess everyone is so different, but like us and everyone we know, sexuality isn't a big deal. I get that when it's you, obviously it is a big deal when you're learning about mm. yourself and stuff. Um, so coming to terms with that, I don't think it should be, I don't think you should view it as coming to terms with it because it's not a bad thing, it's no. just learning who you are mm. and it doesn't matter how long that takes, it doesn't matter if it takes you weeks, months, years, the time will come mm -hmm. and you'll be able to fully embrace yourself. I think just ride the wave, yeah. just go with the flow, don't overthink it. Overthinking mm -hmm. is the worst thing in any situation. Yeah. I don't know if that was good advice from us or not. <laughs> it's really hard to give advice on something that you can't relate to. Yeah. Yeah. But if a friend came to me and like we were having this conversation in person, that's what I would say. Yeah. One more I read. Let's yeah. finish on this one. Okay. Someone said one piece of life advice. Go. Remember when our French teacher used to do this? Oh, that was so much pressure. Oh no wonder we've got anxiety one, now. <laughs> one piece. Similarly to what we were just saying, just be you. Focus on the present. Take it day by day, week by week, and just do things that ultimately make you happy. My one piece of life advice would be something that my mum always said to me, and she still does, is that worrying doesn't solve anything. What's the point in worrying about anything in life because it's not gonna fix the problem. It just mm. makes the problem happen twice because you worry about it and then it happens. You've still got three months around. I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll shove them in once this is okay. finished. Okay, you can have them on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> right, thank you for all your 
advice. Yeah, no, I hope not advice, dilemmas. No. Thank you for your dilemmas. <laughs> Disclaimer cannot be held responsible <laughs> <laughs> for if you break up with your boyfriend because of us. <laughs> Me again, it's now Thursday. I actually didn't vlog anything yesterday because I felt so ill all day. Really lightheaded every time I stood up. I feel a bit better today, still not 100%, but I do feel better. Thank goodness, because I'm getting my hair done this afternoon. I was really worried yesterday that I wasn't gonna be well enough because I've been waiting for this appointment for ages. But anyway, that's happening this afternoon, which is also why my makeup looks a bit weird. Whenever I go to the hairdressers, I try not to put bronzer on because you know when they wash your hair and then you get like a line around your face? Not it. So I go for very minimal face makeup. As you can see, my roots are well and truly coming through now. It's been ages since I've had my hair done. I'm gonna go the whitest blonde possible today and I'm really excited about it. But first of all, I'm gonna do a little bit of crafting. The cork board arrived and I love it. This is what it looks like. I've just got it on an old dust sheet at the moment. So it's pink. It's like the perfect sunny side pink as well. But this oak border, not living for it. I'm gonna paint it white. So first of all, I've got a little bit of a scourer to buff up the edges. Then I'm gonna mask it and get painting. I'm really excited to do this actually. I love a little crafty morning. I'll leave a link to this cork board on Amazon. They had a few different colors as well. So if you don't love the pink one, there are different ones. It's quite a hard cork. Head underwater, falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter. I got nothing left to lose. First coat complete and it's already looking so much better, but it's definitely going to need two coats. Here's a little close up. So far, so good. Carrots and hummus, little sausage roll, little doggy and a little Molly Westbrook. Can't go wrong on a Thursday lunchtime, can you? I'm running so late guys, but I'm on my way to the hairdressers. Just put a chewing gum in my mouth that was been in my car for months and it's soft. How gross is that? I'm running late, so I haven't even filmed a before clip of my hair, but I'll ask my hairdressers to take a photo. So hopefully I'll be able to insert that for you instead to see what my hair looks like currently. I am praying that the traffic isn't bad because it's like peak school run time right now. It is five to three. My appointment's at quarter past three. I'm hoping I'm gonna make it in time. I'm really looking forward to being a parent one day, apart from doing the school run twice a day. That does not sound like a bit of me. I'm hoping that I'll live in walking distance from my future child's school, because you best believe I'm not driving in school run traffic every single day, twice a day. Not a bit of me. I can get the bus, I can walk. Anywho, very excited to get my hair done. I've just put a little poll on Instagram because I'm unsure whether to get long layers cut in or not. I mean, by the time you watch this, I will have made my decision. But I'm gonna ask my hairdresser, Victoria, for her opinion too, to see what she thinks would suit my hair. See you in a tick, or actually in about three hours time for me. New hair day is the best. I look very tired right now, okay? I was in the hairdressers for almost four hours today. It was a long one. Can you see? I'm stood in the shadow right now, but you can kind of see. So with my hairdresser, I have a white blonde balayage with a toner as well, which is why it looks a little bit lilac in the viewfinder right now. It doesn't look lilac in person anymore. It kind of did like when it was wet, but in person it's now white. But basically, you know like a purple shampoo gets rid of the yellow tones, white toner gets rid of the yellow tones, and my hair clings onto the toner so quickly. It was probably left on a little bit too long, but I like that because then the next time I wash it, it will be like white, white. It definitely looks more lilac in the viewfinder now than in the mirror when I'm looking at the two. It looks like two different hair colours. I'll put a picture on screen here of how it actually looks, but I'm so pleased with it. So yeah, I have a white blonde balayage, and I haven't had the ends coloured for ages, because basically with a balayage you just have to keep topping up the roux and a bit throughout your hair but today the whole bottom half of my head has had colour on and then balayage at the top I've had my little curtain bangs cut in so they're a bit more substantial like a little bit more hair cut into those which I'm super happy with I really like it I'm really pleased with it but yeah nearly four hours I was there for today it gave me time to chill which was super nice I've just remembered the cork board I did earlier and I've gotten excited and I'm gonna put it up just eating a spag bowl I hope I haven't got that red bolognese sauce around my mouth oh that'll give me the ick watching this back anyway I'm gonna put the cork board up in my office it's going Right here. I've always thought it needed a little picture or something there, and now the cork board will be perfect. Here she is in all her glory. She's dry now. Way more happy with it in the white. Not gonna lie, there's a few 
Oh, hang on, that's just tape. I was going to say I've made a bit of a mess of it, but I reckon I could take a knife around that. Hang on. There we go. There was some, like, masking tape left, so I've just cut that off around the edge. I'm just going to command strip it now. I got these command strips on Amazon. They're, like, they're kind of like Velcro, but not. They both feel like plastic, and they just kind of, like, click into each other. just downloaded this app on my phone that's like a spirit level so I can make sure it's straight on the wall. I'm absolutely winging this by the way. If I sound like I know what I'm doing I'm surprised. I mean how hard can this be? Famous last words probably. 0 0.1 degrees. That's close enough to perfect for me. Oh it looks wonky. It looks really wonky. Oh that is so bad. How have I got that so wrong? Oh it's stuck on a wall. <laughs> Oh no! Let me fix this and then I'll be back. There we go, I think I fixed it. I feel like the ceiling is wonky and that was the problem, but I've just matched it to the ceiling as best I can. Cute, it fits in that little area so well. Right, let's put my world maps on. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Wow, she is beauty, she is grace. She is actually Miss United States. I still haven't finished colouring in the UK postcode map yet. I think I got up to Derby. I believe. So I've still got this, this and this to do, but it takes quite a long time. But for now, I think that looks proper cute. It's a little bit of motivation to keep going, to fill in my little sales map. Lovely. This cost me about 20 quid all in. Oh my God, oh my God. This just arrived and I've been waiting for this all week and I'm so excited that it's finally here. Show your sassy side. I am ready to. So in here, I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting to show you guys. It's literally just arrived on the doorstep. In here is a tracksuit from Sass Queen Official. They very kindly gifted me this. They're a small business that does the cutest loungewear and I cannot wait to see this. Wait for this color. I love, this is gonna be so cute for spring. There's a little note and you guys can use the code FABHAN to get 15% off your order from Sass Queen Official on Instagram. So these are the joggers. I'm so here for these colourful tracksuits that are in at the minute. These feel really nice quality as well. They're fleecy inside. It says love yourself first in pink just here. Oh my god, so cute. These are in size 10. I feel like they're going to fit me perfectly. I went for blue because I feel like it will complement my hair and my eye colour. And this is the hoodie. So... Again, we've got love yourself first on the chest there. This is also size 10. And then on the back, how nice is that? I'm so excited to try this on. Thank you so much to the lovely team over at Sass Queen. Honestly, guys, check out their tracksuits because they've got all different slogans, all different colours, super trendy. And I can vouch this quality feels fab obsessed. I'll leave a link to their Instagram down below. So it's Friday afternoon. I'm going to my friends tonight. I'm going to see all my girls, have a little takeaway. My friend Chelsea is staying over tonight as well. And I want to wear this new pair of jeans. So I got these jeans from Zara. I love them. They fit so well. But this is ridiculous. I put these on my Instagram story so you may have seen them. But as you can see, like fit really well. Like, this never happens with mum jeans. Love them. But look at the length. Look at the size of them. I was so gutted when they arrived. But then you very clever people filled my DMs with Han just cut the bottoms off. So that's what I'm going to do because they were raw hem anyway. So I've got some fabric scissors. I've got some tailor's chalk. I'm going to do it properly. Let's get trimming so that we can get the perfect mum jeans because I love them. But unfortunately, I don't live on stilts. My plan is to just follow the line of the actual hem. I'm going to start with a little bit, try them on again, and then see if I need to take any more off. Because knowing me, I'd just go full force and then cut them too short. So, we're not going to do that. This actually feels a little bit scary, you know? I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh girl, it ain't easy, just let go of that body. Okay, this is where... Why do they look the same? I've just taken about an inch off. The cool kids would probably leave them this length, but... Practical Han knows that they're going to get wet as soon as it rains. So, let's take off a little bit more. Right, I'm going to leave it here. I do think this one is a little bit longer than this one. But I'm just going to wear them tonight and see how I get on and then... I'll recut them if I need to. Don't want to go too short. I'm glad I didn't make that mistake. But I love them. I'll leave a link to these jeans in the description down below. I'm 5'7 for reference and they were way too long on me. So if you're any shorter than 5'7 you will definitely need to cut them. But I mean they were easy to do. Still worth it in my opinion. Zara PR team if you're watching. Please make your jeans a little bit shorter. Because you are catering your clothing to humans and not giraffes. Yours sincerely. 
Fair pan. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this vlog here because, like I said, Chelsea is on her way and I'm seeing my friends tonight. Tomorrow will be spent catching up with Chelsea. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what was the best thing that happened to you this week. Mine was seeing Leanne having a McDonald's and answering your questions. But anyway, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to see my future videos. Have a lovely week and I will see you again next Sunday with another little video. Bye, guys. Love you.